we all get to that point in our world where, well, you don't really have anything to do. You made your starter house, you made all the farms you need and everything, and you just kind of run out of things to do. Well, in this video, we're going to be going over 30 plus ideas for little builds and interesting projects to add to your world. So if you are enjoying the video and if you find it interesting and helpful, leave a like below and subscribe if you're new. And without further ado, let's get into it. Well, every good world needs a farm and whether it's carrots, wheat, maybe even beetroot if you're a weirdo, this is just a little bit of a fancy farm you could use, whether it's this shape or something else, something more decorative and interesting for your world to fit your theme. That could be a really interesting project idea. Maybe do multiple of them for different crops. Just get creative and make it a little more interesting than a basic square crop field. If you want somewhere to put your nether portal that isn't just a simple nether portal out in the open or in your basement, why not hide it in a little cave? Do a little artificial cave on the side of this, droop some leaves down and stuff, and tuck the nether portal away in there. And you can even put custom trees and stuff around it to just engulf it into the side of the mountain. This is a really interesting way to do it, and it looks so cool. Maybe some little market stalls would look nice in your world. If you have a village or something, little stalls like this with banners hanging down and lanterns and things for sale with fake people in them could look cool and bring a little bit of life to your village or world, whatever your theme is. If you have any water in your build, why not make a little pirate ship or a boat of some kind to go in the water to make it seem like there's people traveling down the river and you can make it different sizes. You could even make little canoes, but something in the water would look cool. And to go right along with that, more water decoration, you could create a dock. And this is a dock I actually have a tutorial on on my channel. So if you want to build this exact one, go ahead and check that out. But this would make your water scene look even better, especially if you have boats in the water out here. So the dock looks functional. Custom trees and landscaping always makes builds look better, especially custom trees in my opinion. And here's just a few different types. And again, there is a tutorial about landscaping on my channel if you want to see me build some of these trees. A custom entrance to a mine could be something interesting to add. I mean, we all go mining in Minecraft. Why not make it, you know, something to build, you know, a little entrance could make it a little bit nicer. And this is just a simple thrown together one right here. I'm sure you can make some much cooler looking ones. Some simple flower beds could be something cool to add next to your build or around it on this scale or even larger. You could just make some simple cool beds of flowers to fill up space and this is a great way to just add a little bit of color to your build as well. Another thing you could use to fill up space is things like this, just little piles of wood and this is just such a little classic Minecraft build right here. This has been around for a while but just something this simple can fill up space and just make it look really good and even things like piles of hay could replace this depending on what your build style is sticking along that same theme we could also do something like this rock piles and this is a pretty large one you could do it on different scales using buttons pressure plates all sorts of stuff you see here even andesite and other materials but piles of rocks to again add life to the build and more nature one thing I feel like I always do in a Minecraft world is create themed houses for each type of villager. For example, here is the blacksmith and it's again a blacksmith shop right here as you can see and a little house for them to stay in and this is where I would do my trading and maybe you could make an entire village of themed types of builds for each type of villager. Maybe something like a little natural custom pond or river similar to this theme right here would be great in your world. Plopping one of these town or an entire river running through your village is always a great way to add a new build and a new project to your world. Maybe a windmill would be a cool thing to add to your world, you know, just a simple windmill near your farms and your custom areas. And maybe this could even be where you keep your farming villagers. That's something I've done in the past. And I just think windmills are very nice looking if it fits the theme of your world. Sticking to the farming side of things, you can have a custom animal pen, you know, don't just put a square row of fences and keep your sheep or cows in there. Build something like this, nice and simple, but just make sure all the walls are high enough for them not to escape. As you can see, I've had that problem. Little hidden things into the woods might be something cool to add to your build. For example, here is somewhat of a recreation of the sword in the stone type of thing just hidden off of a little path into the woods with no function other than just a little creative thing to find walking through your world. Maybe you're just sick of your build style that you've been doing for a little while and you need a little break. Maybe make a vacation home right here is an example of something that could be used as a vacation home. Just 
change up the style of your building, switch it up, maybe modern as you see here, and just get a little vacation retirement home. Statues are always something interesting to add to your world, and as you can see here, in my survival world on the Cornerstone SMP, this entire area is not functional, it's just a statue. So something like that, just interesting to add to your world, is a, always a great idea and a good way to fill up space. Maybe consider adding little stands like this of fire with a campfire on top to just add a little bit of grandness to your build if you understand what I mean. Maybe in front of a big building or along your roads. Maybe it wouldn't fit your theme, but maybe a little zen garden. Again, a little getaway place to just peacefully relax in Minecraft and get away from all the troubles of transporting villagers and dealing with wandering traders walking up to you nonstop. A bridge going across from one piece of land to another, as unnecessary as it may be, it's a cool little project and simple build to add to your world, and not too difficult to build either. Different types of path designs, and here is just a very simple one for you to get inspiration from, but there's all sorts of path designs you could come up with, and I figured I would throw one of these in here, as some people might not have a good idea, but a path, you gotta have good looking paths in your world. Maybe you've got room to add something like a lighthouse, not a very complicated build with some simple redstone at the top can really bring some life to your build if this fits your theme or if it doesn't, maybe put it in your retirement area. Everybody likes secret entrances, maybe you want to have one in your own base, oh my gosh, I was not expecting that, I'm so sorry, that was not planned. Anyway, just add a little secret base down in your base and maybe store some villagers in there. As you progress through your world, you're bound to go through some holidays. Maybe some holiday themed builds would be a good thing. As for example, right here, we have a little snow globe with a little bit of a foresty winter scene on the inside. And as extreme as this may seem, some simple Easter themed builds, maybe something more on this scale right here, may be good just depending on whatever time of the year it is. Halloween themed ones are always a good one for your world. Maybe you're someone that likes to have pets in your world. So a little doghouse might be a little Good idea you could add to your world and I just realized he's not gonna be able to get out of there. But you know the point. And I just wanna stop real quick and say if you've made it this far in the video, then consider leaving a like please, it just takes half a second. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that because we do videos like this all the time and I have tons of fun Minecraft content coming out very soon. Next, we have the fountain. You know, the basic fountain, such an iconic Minecraft build. And if you don't have one in your world, it's not a complete world. You gotta have a town center with a fountain somewhere in there. And sticking with water features, get yourself a well, you know, off in the woods maybe, out in the middle of a field, a little path to it. A little well with a cauldron, although it might not have much function, it's just a little something to add to your world for a little bit of interest. And really narrowing down the list now, the floating island. This is a really, really fun build to put in your world, and it looks so cool, especially if you can make it look like it was just freshly pulled out of the ground. Make Maybe make a hole below to make it blend in, put a house on top or whatever you want, maybe a farm of some kind. Just a really cool, classic Minecraft idea. Now, maybe you don't want to build something big. Maybe you want to just take it a little small, a little less time consuming. Maybe build something like this. This is a good balance between having fun in Minecraft and, you know, wasting all your time. So, built something similar to this, you know, a castle is always something great. You got to have a castle in your world and this, you know, not too much time and pretty simple. I mean, this is all completable within what well, maybe one Minecraft day. Finally, last on our list, I want to talk about something so annoying. You know, when you're just working in your world and one of these guys just spawns for no reason, how annoying. This is something you need to have in your world and and we're going to exaggerate a little bit. We're going to we're going to say we stocked up a couple of them. You know, we've been building for a while. Get in there. We've been building for a while and you know they just keep visiting us and you know they won't go anywhere. We you funnel them in. You funnel them in, you know, your nice safe little pathway and you bring them down there and you know they do some stuff and and they'll travel into the here and and I'll, I'll basically just show you what happens, you know, once they get all in there. All right, so you've been building, you, you trapped them in your area, you know, they're, they're down there and, and you got your button and you just, you just pull it off and, and you wait and then perfectly, they just, there they go. I think that is something everybody needs to have in their world. I mean, you got to get rid of them somehow. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you made it to the end, comment below, end of video gang, and let me know that you made it all the way through. I'm running into everything, but thank you so much. And let me know if you want another video like this anytime soon, maybe project ideas or base ideas or all sorts of stuff like that. Comment below the types of videos that you want to see, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.